Hey everybody, how's it going? I got a nice surprise for you. Look at this. What is up people, welcome to a new video and a new set. Technically it is not a new set, it is the old set with a new painted background. But that's okay, we'll still consider it a new set. Because it's all I got. Anyways, this set isn't complete. There's just one more thing that we need to add before it's complete. Let's do it. So I got a very interesting video for you guys today. I did say I was going to do the um, bleh, English gone. Uh, yeah, so I was saying that I was going to do this video uh, quite a while back of uh, about this long. Um, I, 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 you, you know what they say, better late than never, right? And even though this video is a little bit late, it is coming out nonetheless, which is good. Give me a break. I had a lot of stuff to do. Anyways, um, on to the video. Today, I'm going to give you a review and unboxing of this Econ H9R action cam, which is basically a GoPro alternative action cam. Really good camera, and you'll see why um, I'd like to recommend it to you. Uh, if you want the TLDR, good camera, buy it. If you want to know a little bit more, continue watching this video. So first off, this is how the package arrives. It's not supposed to come with this dent though. That just shipping. I'm not so sure why they do this to us, but yeah, uh, it's uh, it's it comes in a seal in like plastic wrapping. Um, of course, I got to use this camera uh, a little bit. Um, I'll share footage with this camera. Uh, of this camera throughout the video, uh, as you'll see some underwater footage, some on the bike, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of here and that. Now this, uh, this is more like a budget oriented camera. You cannot compare this to something like, let's say the Hero 8 from GoPro, uh, Go, GoPro, GoPro, all right, so, you, so yeah. Uh, this can't be compared to that, but this is very comparable to let's say the GoPro Hero 4 Which is another action camera that I've used and um, It was pretty good and this is very comparable to it if not, you know similar um, So anyways, let's let's get unboxing. So first things first I, I always like these kind of boxes, you know, they, they open very nicely. So uh, first thing You'll see the action cam right here, and it comes in its underwater housing. Uh, I think this is rated for 30 meters of depth, if I remember correctly. Is it 30 meters? 30 meters, right there, on the box. Alright, so 30 meters of depth, okay. And it comes with this really nice remote. This remote is very handy, guys. Um, it's so you can control the camera um, remotely hence remote uh, when you like when you have it mounted on your head or on a bicycle or something and you can't get to it this is really good it has two functions it has a uh, camera mode which is the red button right here which you know you, you click it you snap a picture it has even an indicator light here and then you have the um, video mode which is the white button or gray button right here uh, which starts taking a video uh, and once you click on these uh, with the camera you get like a which is like, you know, a shutter. And then with a video, it's doot, 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 if I remember correctly. So yeah, very, very handy, very useful. I love it, to be honest. Um, moving on. So uh, we now move on to the accessories that come with it. First things first, you get this nice strap, which uh, you, you thread through these um, slits right here and it acts like a, a watch you can put on your wrist and you know use okay so there's that you get a, um, a USB type uh, a micro USB sorry a, US, a micro USB cable your basic Android USB cable right for charging and stuff okay you get some zip ties 
Um, and this metallic strap thing. I don't know what it's for. If you guys know what it is, be sure to tell me in the comments. Uh, you get another back for the underwater protective housing in case this uh, like this one cracks, breaks, or scratches or whatever, which is pretty nice. Uh, very useful. Hopefully you'll not need it. <laughs> but yeah, it's there if you do. Uh, you get a bicycle mount. I, I call it a bicycle mount, but you can basically mount it on anything uh, that, that can be threaded through this oval shape here, like a pipe or something, but do be careful. Um, don't don't tighten it too much. It I I have seen it like bend and warp if I tighten it too much. So it's a little bit scary to use when you over tighten it. So just don't over tighten it. Right. Um, you get this really nice um, three quarter inch um, tripod adapter mount thing. Like you take it out of the underwater housing, you put it into this, and you put it on a tripod. Very useful. Okay. And then you get a plethora, an assortment of different mounting solutions here. Um, I don't know. I don't say I don't know what they got. It's just mounting tools, right? So just, you know, you get three different ones, right? And with their um, screws, We'll call them screws, right? Okay. And then, last but not least, you get two of these guys, which are pretty cool. Uh, these are like surface mounting um, mounts, <laughs> right? They have sticky tape at the bottom. You peel it off, you stick it onto something, uh, and it hopefully sticks, <laughs> you know, hence sticky. Uh, but then the locking mechanism for this thing is pretty cool. So it has these orange tabs. So for you to unlock it or lock it, you first have to lift these tabs up, pinch on these, um, I don't know what to call them, pinch on these things, right? And then you slide them out like this. All right. And they're out. All right. If you try, if you put this orange tab back in and you try to push it in, it won't, it won't go in, which is great because it works the other way around. When you put this in, right, and then you put the tab back in, this is not going anywhere. No matter how much you tried, it is in there. It is not going out, so this is very good, very secure. I, I, I'd feel safe mounting uh, the action cam on top of this, right? And you get two of these, which is awesome, all right? So yeah, that's what comes inside the box. Pretty pretty standard, I think. Uh, I would have I would have liked to see, um, a a like a chest mount or a head strap those those are pretty useful uh but then again the price of this thing you'd be surprised you you're getting all of this for 40 dollars i bought this for 150 malaysian ringgits here in malaysia uh which is about which is equivalent to about 40 dollars right very very affordable price for the possibilities that this action camera has and i will be showing you footage uh actually here's some footage of uh this uh 4k uh or 1080p uh action cam versus some uh some shots i have from a hero 4. So now that you've seen the some of the footage, I want to uh, quickly go over the camera itself, right? So I'll take it out of the housing here. All right. Okay. So, um, very quick anatomy of our action cam. It's pretty pretty small here. You have your lens. You have your power button. You have your shutter but shutter button. You have an LED indicator at the top. And on the right side, you have a top and like up and down button, which you navigate the menu from. And on the left, you have the um, mini HDMI, 
and the USB adapter plus the micro SD slot. And we'll get to the micro SD slot in a bit. And at the bottom, you have the uh, battery uh, compartment right here. All right, so, you know, quick quick anatomy of the camera. I'll put it back into its case here, All right? Uh, ooh, that, that nearly caused some issue. And thank God it didn't. All right, <laughs> it, it, it has to clip on very tightly so, you know, it's sealed and you know you don't get any leaks and destroy your action cam so um quickly uh, talking about the modes of the camera uh this camera can shoot 4k 30 frames per second 1080p 60 frames 1080p um 24 frames 2k 24 uh 2k 24 and 720p 120 frames and Here's here's the hundred twenty. Look how how. Mm. Doesn't that just look so so good? Ignore ignore how badly shot it was. It was just a test shot, but the fact that you can get some really nice slow motion shots with this cheap cam is is honestly just astounding. I I I've used this for a while, and honestly, I just I just love this. It's it's cheap. It's functional. It's it's just all around a good budget action camera. Um, I have checked uh, on, on websites like Amazon, eBay, uh, Newegg, um, if this camera is available. They do not have this exact model, the Econ H9R. They have other uh, models that look similar. I don't know if it's the same, but under a different name. Um, but if you want this, you're probably gonna have to order it from, I don't know, Malaysia, Indonesia. Um, China maybe if it has it I'm not so sure maybe you can find it on Alibaba I did find it I think on Alibaba um, and it was for about the same price but the like I don't think they had people who didn't sell it in bulk so if you and your friends want one maybe you guys can buy it together so yeah uh, there's that uh, what else do I need to talk about ah yes definitely one more th important thing here is the SD card. Now, not any SD card is going to work with an action camera. It has to be a specific HD card. Now, when I was buying um, the SD card for this guy, I was um, it was between two options. It was this Lexar 633 and a SanDisk Extreme. If I remember correctly, I think it was a SanDisk Extreme. I'm not so sure of the exact model, but yeah, it was between this and this. Um, but I, when I did my research, I did opt to go with uh, the Lexar 633. Um, I don't exactly remember why I opted to go with this. I think it was because of the uh, faster read-write speeds in camera versus the read-write speeds from the SD card to the computer. If I remember correctly, the SanDisk was faster from the SD card to the computer, but the Lexar was faster from the camera itself to the SD card, and I think for me, that mattered more. I wanted something more reliable within the camera and I can wait a little bit longer to get my footage from the SD card to the computer. So that's why I went with the Lexar 633. Um, when you're buying one, it doesn't have to be those two brands, but when you're buying one, make sure that these, um, these logos are on the packaging. Uh, either a 4k drone or action camera like if you see these three that means this is this is gonna work for you It's definitely best if you see the action camera lo uh, logo right there if you see it go ahead and buy it it'll work for you uh, for this specific camera though I got the 64 gigabyte version uh, because it will not support anything higher if you decide to go with something higher hoping that it might um, it won't but do get 64 because this thing, of course, will eat it like fast food. 
Uh, if you're using 4K 30 frames exclusively, this thing will not last for uh, too long. On 1080p, it will la it will take up to six hours, I believe, but on 4K, um, a lot less, a lot less. So definitely go with the 64, unless you don't think you're going to be using that much or you know taking that much um, videos with it then maybe you can go with the 32, but I wouldn't really recommend that. I'd recommend the 64 all the way. Uh, but yeah, that is it for the uh, SD card and the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know, you could do that as well. Thumbs down. Um, if you have a question you'd like to ask me about this uh, action cam, please leave a comment in the, in the comments down below. Maybe you want to suggest another video I should make in the comments down below. Share it with a friend if you think it was useful and they'd like to watch it. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.